What is up, Hardcore Nation? It's Hardcore Christopher here, and today I'm gonna be gonna be reacting to one of my own videos that I uploaded two years ago, and just just to tell you guys, um, I have not watched this video ever since I uploaded it, so. This is titled, My Dad, A Piece of Trash. So let's get right into it. What's up, everyone? It's... Wait, wait, wait. No, no. What? What's up, Hardcore Nation? It's Hardcore Christopher here, and... It's... Yeah, but um, Sonic flies, like that's it's, everybody else talks normally, but Sonic, like, this is a video that's that, the source, I think. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop you right there, Hardcore Christopher, from the past. Past. Hardcore. Whatever. Um... I, I should have definitely muted my television. Well, wait. I should have definitely... I was watching the YouTube video via Xbox Live, so I should have paused the video um, and then recorded the, this. This is a video that I'm going to talk about. You know, I'm, about it. I'm going to talk about somebody in my life. Well, that someone just so happens to be Clifford Dale Box. You may be wondering how I knew his full name. Well, doesn't. There are many things you forget, but there was. I got my name, Christopher Dale Box. The reason why I'm Christopher Dale Box, my dad is Clifford Dale Box. Which, I guess he wanted to name me. Christopher instead of Cl Clifford Dale Box Jr., which fine by me. I'm better off. AKA my father. Well, what's there to talk about? Well, let's start from the beginning, shall we? My father and mother um, they were together for a long time. Longer than they were ever married. That is true. That is true. Um, they were together. I don't really know how long they were together, but uh, I know they were together before me and Whitney were born. So they were they were together. Prior to, to 97. They were only married for four years. Uh, they were married in 2000. Um, my, my mom and my dad were married from 2000 from 2004. And 
My father really wasn't a very nice man. In fact, my father had a quick, quick temper. Yes. That is also true. My dad was not a nice man at all. Uh, I'll tell you guys a little story. Him and my mom had gotten into an argument. And he... This is how dumb he is. He goes outside, and because he's mad, he punches, he punches a shed, and breaks his hand. But, really, I actually cannot believe I'm reacting to this. Um... Let's just keep on going. Anything would set him off. He was like a... He was like a ticking time bomb of rage sometimes. True. Um, I remember that him and my mom got into an got into an argument one time and I want to say this is like in 2003 a year a year before they got a divorce and you know I used to respect him I used to respect him and I will admit, I love him because he... I, I will admit, I respect him. Well, I used to respect him. Which I did. Don't get me wrong. He's my father, and I do love him for bringing me into this world. But... In all reality, um, let's just keep on going. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save my thoughts. He's my dad, and he always will be. But I don't love his actions, but I'll get to that in a little bit. So they get into a they they get into they get into a argument. Things get heated. He goes outside and he punches he punches a he punches he punches a shed broke his hand I act, I actually forgot that I had told this story that's the reason why I brought it up in this video and broke his hand broke it all to hell okay then Then we go into 2004, and I really don't like to, and I really don't like telling this part. But in 2004, I want to say, I want to say it was a Wednesday, Thursday, maybe. No, I, th I think it was a, I think it was. A, Saturday because I didn't have school. It was a, I want to say it was a weekend. So, anyway, I'm, uh, 
I'm seven at the time. And I, I was sitting, I was sitting, I was sitting in the, li- I was sitting in the living room because we lived in a trailer. I, for some odd reason, I didn't sleep in my bed. I slept on the couch. Um, that sort of thing. By the way, I did that every night. Uh, I would prefer to sleep on the couch in the living room instead of going to my room and sleeping in my bed. But they being my mom and my dad he um they were they were yeah, they were yelling and screaming at one another. And my mom went out the door. Uh, Whitney and Kayla went with her. And she goes, do you want to come with me? I go, no. Because I thought, I thought she was, I thought she was going to go like to the store or something and come right back. That's also true. Um, I thought... I thought she may go to, like, Walmart or someplace and come right back, but... I think I'm gonna get into this a little... in a little bit. Right. Let's, Let's continue. Well, that didn't happen. So I started with my dad, and my dad was raising all sorts of hell, and and uh, I didn't know this, but my dad went out to my grandma's, went out to my grandma's old trailer. I mean, it was it it, it was old. It had wasps living in it and everything like that, and but anyway, it it was an old trailer. And I think I had just woke up from taking a nap or something. Next thing I know, I'm in the car. We're out to my grandma's old trailer, and I see him at the front door. And I'm in the car, and there's and, and there's police, and I'm thinking, what in the hell is going on here? Come to find out that my mom, I think it was my grandma or my one or the other, they um, one of them called the cops and escorted my dad off of the property along with me. Now, this is the part that I don't like. And I don't even remember this, but my grandma told me. And she goes, we were lucky if we ever... We were lucky that we got you, bub. I go, what do you mean? And she goes, your dad dropped you off at your at your uncle Perry at your uncle Perry's and Aunt Bessie's because they lived on Liberty at the time in uh, Web City. And 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 my grandma told me that my aunt said, "Cliff, this isn't right." Well, my dad basically said, "You can have him. I don't want him." And my aunt 
said that, Cliff, this isn't right. These kids should not be split up the way they are. Because he had some work to do, like in California or something, and I don't want to take me with him. No, 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 no. I'm wrong here. Um, and actually, I I'm not gonna rewind the video because I remember what I said. I said, uh, I don't remember this. When we went, when, when my dad went over to my grandma's, uh, and she, uh, and, and he got the cops called on. Um, I remember that. I remember him standing on, at the, on, uh, I remember him standing and knocking on the door, but I was in the car, and uh, my mom wanted my mom wanted nothing to do with him, so he, uh, my grandma said, you know, call the cops. She did, and that's what happened. Now, as far as me saying to him, well, not to him, as far as me saying, and that is right, my grandma did tell me that uh, my aunt told my dad, you know, this is not right, and everything. That's true. However, I am wrong with the statement that uh, I be when I said I believe he had some work to do in California or something. Here's the thing. I forgot that he worked at like a tree place with uh, forklifts and stuff. And that got blown away uh, during the EF5 tornado. And he wasn't, he, he didn't have to, so, and that was like in Joppa. So he didn't have to go out of state to work. So I don't know where I got that from. Uh... He actually went to like a race thing, like a race car thing or a, a motorcycle thing that him and my mom had already agreed that they were going to before uh, they split. So that, so that's where he went. So I. So, I, so I stayed there for about, I want to say, a day, or two, and I went, I went to my grandma's, that, that, that freaked me all the way out because I didn't know where I was. So, my mom and dad got a divorce, and the the uh, the custody case, to my knowledge, was still going was still going on. The case had not been closed. But I'll get to that in a minute, too. You see, 
My dad. I will admit. I'm nothing like my dad. And I'm glad for it. Because I've heard stories about when my mom was pregnant with us that he he choked her over a road sign. Because it was telling him to go one That is true. That is true. My mom said that they were going someplace and Road Sign was telling him to go that one way, she was telling him to go the other way. And so his solution was to put her put his hand or hands around her neck and choke her. What sense does that make? Especially when she's carrying your kids. Way and she was telling him to go the other. Um, I heard that he used to beat her. People in my family can attest to that, so that is true. Trying to contain myself, hardcore nation. But it's hard. I don't know why I said I'm sorry there. Because literally if I would if I would have just lost all control of what I was saying I wouldn't have been I don't think I would have been sorry. And the reason why is it's because it's hard for me to open up. But once I open up, I open up. And, you know, it's, it's difficult, but yeah, I, I just don't know why I said I'm sorry there. You know... My dad, my dad helped, helped bring, bring us into this world, and I'm not going to lie about that. And it, ta it takes two to make kids. But, you know, okay, so... Yeah, I was at my grandma's house, and they get a divorce. Now, let me put this into perspective for you guys. I haven't seen my father since 2005. That is not true. Um, when my mom was looking for her birth certificate, um, I found out because she was ordered by the court to keep a a record uh, I get or maybe like an affidavit or s basically every single time he would take he would take us for a weekend or uh or something, he would, uh, well, she would write down in this little, in, in this journal, that's basically what it was, you know, what happened and everything. It was court mandated. And the last time I actually, the, the last time that journal was updated was 2011. So I haven't seen my dad ever since 2011. None of us have. I haven't 
seen him in a long time. I mean, I remember when he would call and he would say, Happy birthday, buddy! Or he'd call every night. He'd call on our trip to Kansas City. I remember when I had my asthma attack and I was in the hospital for three days and he came and saw me. Before... Before I get too wound up here, because I know it's coming, it's just a contained wound up. Um, that is true. I had an asthma attack. I was in the hospital for three days and three nights. Hospital food sucks. That bed sucked because I couldn't really get any sleep. Um. But my dad showed up every day. And then my mom would talk. And, you know, it is true that he pretty much called daily. But that was when we had our house phone, which cost about $60 to keep around. Um. He, uh, and I would tell him what I learned in school, and, you know, he would also call us on our birthdays and wish us a happy birthday. So that's all, that's all true. But... My dad, my dad's no angel, no parent is, um, unfortunately as kids we, we are taught to love your, love our parents, but as, but as time goes on and as we grow up, we start to despise the per we start to despise the people that are in our lives. But, well, that wasn't in our lives, excuse me. But you know something? I'm I'm getting off of subject. So they get a divorce. We see him in 2005. And and that was the last time we that was the last time we saw him to my knowledge next time I saw him was on the news he was it was what? Well, what could my father have possibly done to be on the news? How about... How about be a drug dealer? And get caught with 38... 38 ounces of marijuana in a van... In the van that he owns. It's really hard. That was that. It, that is true. Uh, me and my mom were watching the news, and she couldn't believe that he was on the news because of drug dealing. But then again, she wasn't surprised. I was. You know. I mentioned before about the custody case. I mean, he stopped paying his child support. <clears throat> he just 
stop paying his child support. And he is supposed to pay child support. But that's until I found out something. Remember the tornado that tore, that tore through Joplin, that EF5? Well, he lost his job because of it. And I defended it. That's until I found out something. My dad closed the custody case. The custody case is now closed. And he dropped all of his rights. So, legally, I don't have a father. But, but he still is my father. He walked, he completely walked out on us. Now, what else is there for me to say? I said... That is true. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, there are a lot of fathers that do. And, uh... M... M... Unfortunately... Unfortunately, it can be vice versa. The mother walks out. The father stays. The mother... Um, the mother stays. The father walks out. Unfortunately, it happens on a daily basis. Um, and, that's how, and that's how I felt. And... There is still a part of me that feels that he walked out. Because, you know, without him taking up his role, role as head of the household, I had to step in. That just wasn't right. But I used to respect him. I don't anymore. You want to know something, you deadbeat bastard? You son of a bitch! You chose drugs over your kids, who does that? And yeah, I know it happens a lot. You don't think it hurts? That when I graduated, that you weren't there, that you weren't, that you weren't there in my life at all. You don't even call. You don't even, you, you don't even wonder how we are. You don't even wonder about your own kids. You are a sorry excuse for a father. You are a sorry excuse for a human being. When you choose drugs over your kids, there is something wrong. I had to grow up so fast. to take your place when it wasn't my place to step in. I had to play the peacekeeper. I, I stuck up for you. I, I did whatever I could. Hold on. Hold on.
hold the phone. And that's literally what I'm doing. I'm holding my phone. Um, you know, when I say... You want... You see, this wasn't... No matter what anybody says, this was not... This was not something that was a that was a joke. This wasn't something that was a skit. This wasn't something that was just made up and that I just threw in. It was real. And the and the emotion that you're seeing pretty much right at the end of this video. 20 minutes, 24 24 seconds. Pretty much, pretty much at the end. Look, I'm going to tell you right here, right now. Do I, do I cuss? Not really. Do I... Do I love my dad? Absolutely. Do I wish he would come around? Yeah. But I'm not going to watch him kill himself. Because that's what he's doing with drugs. Drugs is a slow, slow killer. And you ask anybody. And I don't think it. I don't think. I don't think somebody wakes up. And they decide to be like a drug at a drug addict or an alcoholic or you know somebody that is somebody that is addicted to something. I don't think they just wake up and magically say, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna be addicted to it." That's not that's not how that works. And it, it literally tears me up because everything I said here is legitimate. Everything I said was with genuine emotion. So let's keep on going. And yes, I am your son. I'm not gonna watch you kill yourself. It's obvious you're doing the. I'm still not going to watch him kill himself. Drugs, because you knew that you. Oh, and you also spent time in jail, you motherfucker. That's true. My dad did did do time. I think. You are a piece of... You are a piece of garbage. You didn't want nothing to do with us. Custody, the custody was supposed to be split. 50-50 custody. That's what I'm talking about. 50-50 custody. But no, you, you just decide to give up your rights. How in the hell do you think that makes us feel? You gave, you gave up your rights, and how do you think that makes us feel? I'm gonna say, uh, I, I'm gonna say something at the end of this video, and quite frankly, it's gonna be something that 
Nah. That I've been thinking about ever since ever since uh ever since the in uh, ever since the latter part of this video. So, stick around. Maybe it won't be today, maybe it won't be tomorrow, but I know when you die, you're going to have to answer to God for all of, for all of your sins. And then what are you going to say? Huh? God sees all. What are you possibly going to say? Are you going to say, I didn't want no kids? Are you going to say, I love drugs more than I did my kids? Are you going to say, what are you going to say? Now, I'm, now I probably... That question is rhetorical. Because when you stand before... When you stand before the maker of everything, you're going to say absolutely nothing. Because the judgment is already going to... Because God already knows the judgment and the sentencing. My mom was working at Zips. He, he came in and she goes, he looked like death warmed over. You're going to be dead. You're going to be dead. That is true. My, my mom was working... Uh, my mom was working at Zips, and he was actually getting a soda. And he looked over, saw her, said, F this, and walked out and got an apple. You're going to be dead more... You are going to die a lot earlier because you know all those substances that you are pumping in your body, they are, they are going to kill you. And I guess that's what you want, isn't it? But I know deep down in, deep down in the back of your mind, you are, you, you are saying, I could have been a better father. I miss my kids. I wonder how they're doing. That's what every single... That's probably every single thought that you try to... Uh, to, ex to exert out of your mind to take out of your mind. I don't respect you. And just because you chose drugs over your kids, I guarantee that I will be a better father than you were ever to me. I stand by that. It hurts. It hurts not having you in my life. But then again, you don't care. So, since
that you don't care about me, why the fuck should I care about you? Thank you. Fuck you. Bye. This has been Hardcore Christopher. Keep it hardcore, everyone. Okay. This is what I'm going to say. You just watched me for 25 minutes, 13 seconds. Tell you all about my father. Exposing him for what he is, really. But that was two years ago. How do I feel now? Quite frankly, I'm not mad at my father anymore. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that he chose drugs. I'm disappointed that he left. But quite frankly, I'm disappointed that I didn't have anybody to teach me how to be a man. And I'm not talking about my uncles. I'm not talking and I'm not talking about my friends' fathers or stepfathers. I'm talking about my actual father cuz yes, even though I've had people in my even though I've had male role models in my life, there's there's nothing that compares. There's there's absolutely nothing, there's absolutely, positively, unequivocally nothing that compares to having your biological father in your life teaching you what, te teaching you what you need to do to be a man, teaching you what a man is all about. So... As I end this video, I would like to say, if you have parents in your life, or just a parent, hug them, love on them. Tell them how much they mean to you. You know, even even if you're on, even if you're on rock, even if you're on rocky circum, even if you're on a, a rocky path with them, just sit down, sit down and talk to them. Sit down and say, okay, this is why we're here right now. How can we get past this as a family? And the reason why I'm saying all this now is because I have a new perspective. You see, two years ago, I was very angry. Even, even though this was two years ago, I could still feel the anger. I could still feel the frustration. I could still feel the rage that was coming through. And that's me from two years ago. So, keep this in mind. Love your family, no matter the cost. I'm Hardcore Christopher. Keep it hardcore, everyone.